What's up everybody, I'm Scott, web hosting pro from HostGator. In this episode of Hosted, I'll give you the lowdown on website accessibility, what it is, and what steps you can take to make sure your site is compliant. And once your site is compliant, you won't be getting any compliance from me. <laughs> wow. hey. You're welcome. Woo. Website accessibility guidelines and ADA compliance are crucial considerations for anyone looking to build a website. And if the site is for a business with 15 or more employees, or offers public accommodations like a physical location, it's actually a requirement. Not only is accessibility important for inclusion, but also for business, as potential website visitors with disabilities make up about 26% of all American adults, according to the CDC. So let's make accessibility more accessible! The full list of ADA requirements and web content accessibility guidelines is a constantly evolving set of things to look out for when designing your website. But some of the most recent additions include items like having simple access authentication options, keeping the need for dragging gestures to single pointer dragging only, guidelines on minimum and enhanced focused appearance, and more. For a more extensive list, check out this link right here. But Uncle Scotty, I'm on board! Let's get accessible, but how? Good question, glad you asked. Well, here are my top three suggestions on how to get started. Number one, use an accessible friendly theme for your CMS. For example, WordPress specifically has over 100 accessible ready themes you can install for free. These themes will set you up for success with preset elements like color contrast, navigation requirements, and more. Number two, if you already have a WordPress theme that is not compliant, you can use a plugin that will check your site to see if it meets the ADA guidelines and requirements. The three to check out are WP Accessibility, Accessibility Checker, and WP ADA Compliance Check Basic. All these options have various features to suit your specific needs, but they will all check your site and let you know what's not compliant. And finally, number three, use a third-party compliance checker. The University of Illinois Functional Accessibility Evaluator will scan up to 25 pages of your site and quickly return a report with explanations of how to resolve any issues. For the more visual website designers out there, WAVE from Utah State University generates more graphically friendly reports. And there you have it. Hopefully we made the ability of accessing the accessibility of accessibility more accessible. <laughs> Have we said the word accessible enough? No. Yes, in excess. <laughs> As I said, the guidelines and regulations are ever evolving and quite comprehensive, but check out the description for more links to resources on the topic. In our next episode, more priceless advice from Uncle Scotty to Lil Scotty. <laughs> hey bud, okay, you wanna wave? Okay, bye! <laughs> Little Scotty, you uh, building a website? <laughs> oh, what uh, what are you doing in this episode? <laughs> yeah, <I don't... laughs> okay, all right, well, <laughs> bye.